Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey. what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. It's a simple message and it comes from the heart. Oh, believe in yourself, for that's the place to start. Started I say, hey! hey. What's up? Welcome to the Friday show. Xander, what are you doing? We're packing for spring break. Are we hosting this week? Yeah. Oh. Let's go to the news. Welcome to PC3 Media News, where you can find your daily updates on sports, politics, media, and more. Today we'll be covering events that have taken place over the past week. First up this week, we have a couple schools from our lovely Porter County Career Center that have successfully made it to the regionals and semi-state for boys basketball state tournament. We would like to recognize the Chetichon Trojans for having such a great season this year. They played the Penn Kingsmen for a chance at semi-state but ended up falling 60-73. to Although this is a loss, Chetichon has finished first in their Dumoulin Conference, going 7-0. and Congrats to the Trojans on this one. Next up, we have the Couts Mustang. Not only did they win their regional game against Bethany Christian, which ended with a score of 44-40. Through this season, Cows was pretty good for basketball, finishing second in their PCC conference. They fell to the Morgan Cherokees, but as an act of revenge, they beat the Cherokees in, in sectional. On Saturday, March 18th, they took on the Marquette Catholic Blazers, but ended up losing to them 55-50. Although this is bittersweet for the Mustangs, they can be proud that they had a great season. In today's other news, a Russian fire jet flew very close to a U.S. drone over the Black Sea, dumping fuel on it, then eventually flying into it and causing the aircraft to crash into the sea below at a depth of about 4,000 to 5,000 feet deep, which made any recovery operation very difficult. This happened on the morning of March 14, 2023. Russia's jet was classified as a Russian Su-27 fire jet, and our drone was an American MQ-9 Reaper. U.S. Army General Mark Milley said he wasn't sure whether the Russian jet had intentionally hit the U.S. drone or simply tried to. More information is yet to come. A new installment of the well-known Scream franchise hit theaters March 10th, and it set a franchise record with $67 million at the global box office. Scream 6 opened with a fan event at 5 p.m. on Thursday before going wide into over 3,100 theaters half an hour later. This new movie follows yet another Ghostface killer and their actions to kill off the beloved Core 4 from the previous installment. Let's take a look. We're too high up. We can get down from here. isn't like any other ghost face. What is this place? It's a shrine. Guys? We've got to lure him in. We execute him. Come on, mother! Scream. It's for you. Only in theaters March 10th. Tickets on sale now. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to see more PC3 news on the Friday show. Man, that was some crazy news. Okay, first you bring a computer monitor with you on spring break. Now you're bringing an eraser. What could you possibly need an eraser for? I gotta erase my, my mistakes.
coincidences, terrible coincidences, they do happen, but it's more likely that a person was behind it. In three, two, one. Tragedy comes theories. Oh my gosh! And the rest was, well, history. Man, those theories are crazy. What do you have this time? Uh, I, got some, I got some music. Can't go on a hiking trip without any good songs. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see if the CAD class is going to be able to go see the Mario movie. It's a bribe. Bribing you. Bribing me on camera. <laughs> yes. Whoa. doing uh, architecture but towards the end of the year when this film is set to come out um, we are doing animation and we believe we feel like that would be better um, for our education and being able to create our own projects and that information's been collaborated with your instructor to know that that's where you'll be during that time mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. I'm curious, Lane. Yeah. How do your parents feel about this? <laughs> they would be fine with it. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> there. Uh, they, I, yeah. I mean, I, they would be fine with it. Oh my God. Sammy. Uh, my parents have been very supportive. I know uh, that, like, when I told them, they were like a big fan of the idea. And I know David's parents, like. Uh, the well, mom wanted I'm to not worried Olive about Garden, David's so. parents. I asked you about your parents. And I answered. Thank you. <laughs> I'd be careful if I were here. You should put the tape back on. Oh, okay. Um, let's go take any take any take other questions? Just feel free. Just more tape. So, Just more tape. you're looking for funding from me regarding the transportation component and admission. Is that accurate? Uh, yes. Okay. You generally don't go to the movies and just walk in and sit down and watch a movie. Nope. There's usually concessions involved. Where does that cost come from? Any concessions, any food, drinks, anything that is that w would be for each individual. So each individual would have to uh, purchase their own. <laughs> yeah, boy. Game Break. Hi, I'm Katie, and welcome back to Game Break. In this episode, we're going to be playing Portal 2, me and Maggie. Maggie admittedly doesn't really know how to play, so we're going to see how this goes. And I'm going to try to teach Maggie how to play. I'm dragging her along for the ride. What do you have to say about this, Maggie? We're going to go great. <laughs> I'm going to die a bunch of times, but it's fine. Totally Not fine. at all. Part of the Not process. All. <laughs> Not at all. I could, I could do that. Ow. Ow. Game? Deal? 
like you saw this you one. to make the oh that's a portable surfing but what did you do there you go Right there. Ah, there we go. This is a light bridge level. Oh, yippee! Never showing pain nor fear. I mean, you could that test plants. Dude. They, but they're but they're like robots, but plants are kind of pretty, though. How did yeah. you do that? Oh, there it goes. All right. Uh, I mean, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to? I feel like there's a desire for you to. Uh, yeah, there is. I'm trying to restrain it right now. Restraining the desire to kill you. Oh, I went the wrong way. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, I can. I want a hat. Didn't want a reward. I want a hat. Uh. Button. But. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh. Oh. Well, I love it. I love a button. What is this? We're gonna die, by the way. Why? Why? Uh, we're stuck. And you'll fly in the direction we're looking at. Right, how do you get down? Uh oh. Oh! Well, tell me when. Okay. Spot where you put the blue one? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'll just tell you when, actually. Uh, okay. Right after I fly through. We got this. No. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Taking this cube with me. While well, teamwork is needed to complete these tests. Bye. I'm not sure I trust the two of you together. Why? Oh, why? Why? <laughs> that was that was pretty fun. Thank you, Maggie, for letting me take you along on a ride to Portal 2. Yeah, oh, a good time. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Only died a couple of times. A, a couple. And a few in the hub. Man, those are some crazy portals. Okay, what, you, what is it this time? It's my friend, of course. Glad it's not me. Let's go to the behind the scenes. What's up guys, I'm back with my normal live recorded voice. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to ask what Xander's doing this time because he's probably going to say something stupid like he needs the fan to stay cool or something dumb. Uh, so we're just going to go to the next segment. Uh, Courtney's a spy now? Uh? Alright, Liam, Isabella, Wait, Court where's Courtney? Oh, she's at a karate tournament thing, and then she's going to Europe for no reason. 
What? Yeah. Wait, wouldn't it be funny though if Courtney was a spy? Yeah, maybe she's a spy, like James Bond. Spy Courtney. It's ridiculous just with the the karate and the You're a So, Courtney was on her phone, okay? Which is like normal, yeah. But she was texting and she kept hiding it. Like, I would look over at her and she'd be like, like, hide her phone, like, really quick. I don't know who she's texting, but like, she won't tell any of us and she tells us everything. So, I don't really know what's happening. The other day, I saw Courtney crawling around, screwing around like a little rat. Must be a spy. If you tell anyone about what you saw me doing the other day, you're gonna you're gonna be sorry. Okay, keep your mouth shut. Well, I've been a longtime friend of Courtney and love her to death, but something fishy is going on there. I mean, she'll be gone for days at a time. What what is she practicing Krav Maga for? I mean, it's pretty cool, but she doesn't like need that. I mean, look at her. Nothing ever goes on around here. It's just, something is its just suspicious. I don't know how else to word it. Something's going on there. It, I don't mean to be nosy. You know, I don't typically put my nose in other people's business, but... Something's happening. You know, everybody's making a big deal out of this whole Courtney does this weird thing. I really haven't seen much. Although there was that one... Alright, one time, she just moves really fast. I mean, if you didn't know any better, it's like she was in three places at once. Horseback riding, karate, Europe. No, there's no way. There's, there's no way. She's so clumsy. She literally tripped over her own feet the other day. The spy. Ridiculous. So anyways, I guess uh weird stuff like that. The the crux of Okay, what is it now? Hey guys, it's me, Xander, with my normal voice. This is uh, a phone that I'm bringing so I can make phone calls on the go. It's like a phone, but mobile. That's a pretty good idea. I think they should do something with that. Anyway, let's go to crafts with Isabella. Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 6 of Imagination with Isabella. For today's episode, we're going to be making dream catchers. So let's go grab the materials and get started. Okay, so now let's talk about the materials that we're going to need to make the dream catcher. So this is what the final result looks like. The material that you're gonna be making the dream catcher out of is this metal hoop base hoop, which you're gonna wrap the string around it just like this to make the circle. Next, you're going to use, you could use this to get the string very close enough in and out underneath the loop to make it nice and tight to get these vertical lines. Um, and then you could use the pink feathers to decorate it and the glue to glue the feathers on and then the scissors to cut them off. So those are the materials that you need to make the drink. Okay, so the first thing that you're going going to want to do is loop your, loop your string and then you have this little, your first loop. You're just going to go around and continue to do it just like that. Now that you are done wrapping, I want to show you what to do next and how to add the main points on the dream catch. Okay, so you just sort of want to keep on weaving the yarn in and out of the holes that you've already made. Just like so, and you just want to keep going back and forth.
just like so. And then you have a dream catcher. So now it's time to add the decoration. Okay, for decoration, we're gonna add some of the feathers onto the string. To do this, you're going to add some glue to the bottom of the feather and then stick it on the string. Just like that. And then add a couple more to the bottom. Well, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed making the dream catcher and continue to make crafts and have a good rest of the day thank you bye don't mind him he's just filling up with some water for his hiking trip can't go hiking without water anyway minute to win it maggie evans here with pc3 media in three weeks on april 14th these two teachers will be battling out getting one of these oreos into their mouth first I'll let them introduce themselves. Well, let me tell you something, Maggie. This man, shark, child thing in front of me, he thinks he can eat like a shark. But I know that he's just a little goldfish. But I, Viking McLinden, will devour these cookies like I devour my enemies. What do you think, shark boy? I'm going to eat all of the Oreos in round one. Shark Swinford here, my little partner. What's your partner's name? It doesn't matter who his partner's name is, Maggie, because let me tell you something. Boy, you think this is a game? You think you'll eat the cookies in round one? There will be no cookies for you to eat in round one because I'll have already them and their families and the families of those who made the cookies. Somebody smells funny. <laughs> That's you. Oh. Oreos. April 14th. Where? Friday. Shark That's Swinford. Studio. Shark Swinford and your mom. Right here. Oreos. That's all for this week's Friday show. We'll see you next time.